Hey guys, welcome to creatingtracks.com. Today we're going to take a look at dragging and dropping audio and MIDI from Machine to Ableton. And this can be very cool and very quick, but also a bit tricky if you haven't done this before. So let's check out the loop that I'm working with. Okay, cool. So what you can do is over here in your group on the right side, you have these two buttons that look like a MIDI button and then an audio waveform. So if you click and hold this audio waveform and let the processing happen, then you can drag it to Ableton and let go. And that's your audio waveform from your whole group, which is really, really cool and really fast because you have literally just dragged this audio from this group to Ableton. And instead of routing each one of these groups to different tracks in Ableton, you could come here and drag your group. So even if you have a new group with a bunch of different sounds, you can click over here, let it process. And then when you drag and drop in Ableton, you will see the new waveform. But if you wanna know how to route individual sounds to individual tracks, you can check out the part three of this machine VST series, uh, which is from our previous week. So definitely do check that out. And let's now delete this and see how the MIDI drag and drop works. So over here, I have this MIDI button. And if I click and drag this inside of Ableton, you can see that all of my sounds are being routed to individual tracks inside of Ableton. So if I let go, you can see that each sound is now in its own track, which is not what I need. I want them all to be inside of one instrument track or a drum rack so I can use it. So for that, we're gonna come up over here to the group, right click and go to group MIDI batch setup and sounds to MIDI notes. Right now it's sounds to MIDI channels, which is an individual track in Ableton. That's why they're going to separate channels. But we want Ableton to consider them as MIDI notes inside of a MIDI clip. So sounds to MIDI notes and let's select it. And now if I drag this to Ableton, you can see that they're all inside of one clip, which is exactly what I need. But if I come here and turn off my machine track and I hit play, nothing's gonna happen because it's an empty MIDI track and it doesn't, it's not sending the information anywhere. And if I click over here, you can see that there are no plugins on this. So let's go ahead and add a drum rack from our instruments. So drum rack. And now if I hit play, you can see that all these notes will light up as they're being played. And now you can drag any kinds of samples you want on these notes. So I'm just gonna pick these samples right here. So I'm gonna put the kick over here, the snare down here, and then the closed hi-hat over here, open hi-hat over here. So that is a really cool way to bring MIDI information from machine to Ableton and then use your own samples inside of Ableton. Now, aside from using this on a drum rack or an instrument rack, you can use the same MIDI information to control MIDI notes inside a machine somewhere else. So if I delete this pattern over here and I hit play, technically nothing should play. So if I turn on my machine track and I play, then you hear nothing because there's no MIDI information. But in this MIDI track, I can set the output to machine. So let's go and select this output over here. And you can hit tab and select that over here. Make sure your input output is turned on on the bottom right. And then over here in the output, I'm gonna select machine and I'm gonna just assign it a channel. So I'll just give it the first channel and now, if I go inside a machine, all I have to do is make sure that I'm in my group tab and not in the sound tab, and then go to this channel input output, which you can hit on your machine over here by hitting channel and go to the input and make sure that the active button over here is turned on. And I'll select the channel that I assigned to that MIDI track, which is one. And now if I hit play,
So you can see that even though we don't have any MIDI notes inside a machine, this MIDI clip right here in Ableton is controlling what's inside a machine. And now you can go ahead and make your own changes to your MIDI notes and change them according to however you like. And you have a bunch of MIDI effects in Ableton that you can also use on these MIDI notes. Oh, not that. So there you have it. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please make sure to give it a thumbs up, share it, and subscribe to our channel for a lot more. And we will see you next time. Peace.